Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on one of Elizabeth Hartman's creations. It's Reggie the Reindeer. It comes in the uh, form of the North Star kit. Uh, very beautiful kit right there. You can see it right up there. We're just going to do the reindeer down here below as I, my, one of my friends gave me this whole booklet as a gift and uh, I sh was showing it off to one of my customers and she really liked the reindeer so that's the one we're going to do. So I just got to get back onto my focus here. <laughs> I had it. <laughs> it's one of the last ones. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put him together. We've cut, I believe... <laughs> as we all like to hope and wish with a lot of these little parts. Uh, most of the pieces, if not all the pieces, okay? I have built out a little bit of the reindeer body because it seemed very basic, big chunk, and then you're um, folding and flipping, stitching and flipping on these corners right here, put the little legs together. I chose a very golden uh, brownie color with some texture to it to make the reindeer and then literally went through my scrappy bits of some gray and some browns and so on and so forth and even a green. I even tossed in a green there as you need to build out the blocks that go with this project, right? So there's, there's blocks here. Just put that there. See, there's these blocks here that you have to build out. So there's uh, flying geese, which I will show you. If you're not sure how to do a flying geese, I will show you how to do a flying ge geese, goose, whatever you want to call it. I'm from Canada. We can call it everything we like. They're usually noisy. And uh, But I'm pretty much going to show you just how to do the uh, head and the antlers uh, for today. So um, a fun project. It's pretty much basic otherwise. This is where it kind of gets a little complicated. And uh, that's what I'll show you. Okay, so Elizabeth Hartman is the creator of this pattern. If you'd like to go to her website, Site, elizabethhartman.com there's pattern list all on the side and projects and everything else like that she's got going on we've got a couple of fans of our channel who are working on projects right now I believe Steph is working on the ocean one uh, very excited to see that she's actually posted pictures of her progress and they're fantastic I think it's looking amazing I love the octopus so all right so let's continue working here Put that over there. So here's my little body. And I chose some very fun fabrics for this. Uh, there was a bit of white with some hearts that uh, my friend uh, Jo Marie gave me, I think. I, I'm sure she gave it to me. I'm, I, don't, I don't even know where I pulled it from. And, uh, and then some very textured kind of lovely black. That I know I, I got from her scrappy bag, which came over for a visit the other day. So, And she's the one who gave me this whole project and, uh, um, and uh, kit. So. Hello, Mr. Magoo. Here he is, yes. <laughs> so to build out the ear, you have a piece that is approximately two inches by two and a quarter inches. And then you're gonna pretty much fold and flip on either one of those corners to give you the ear of your uh, reindeer, okay? So what I have here is going on is the eye piece, which is a very, these are some small cuts. Oh, sorry, it's claws. Stuck in my, oh there, there we go. Okay, Allie, why you gotta be so tough? Sorry about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ow, I know I'm bleeding. Ow. <laughs> Alrighty then, Mr. Clive wants attention. Here we go. Okay, so some of these cuts are really tiny. Like there's this one piece here is only like one inch by one and a quarter, which is the top. This piece here is like one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then, you know, this is like two and by one and a quarter. So that kind of gives the eye piece uh, for the reindeer. So we got the front of the face, the eye piece, the back of the face or back of the head, the ear with its background piece attached. And now we're going to do the nose. The white fabric that I chose to do down here with the hearts for the hooves is the same uh, white and black heart fabric that I'm going to choose to do the nose. Uh, it just to me, it just adds some character. Why not? It could be done completely in solids. Uh, I went just literally busting my scraps to figure out what I had the most of and, and just kind of went from there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Magoo. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can't stay on while I'm sewing though. All right. So let's put the uh, top of the head together. Let's uh, first, let's give this little eye and um, head piece a little press together. Okay. <laughs> you want to help buddy? <laughs> If you're not helping, that means you're hindering. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that back in its little spot. 
and we're just going to sew along that line and then we'll add the other half of the head to the back part and just move on so you're already making me drop things okay are we good are we good can you can you can you go now out oh, no dig it in oh thank you thank you thank you <laughs> oh i might have to load a bobbin darn it i meant to do that so sorry all right so scoot that up and then stitch on down slow and steady when it comes to some of these small pieces especially if you feel that your fabric when starting sewing is going to get jammed up or it falls out of its loop or something like that like the upper loop which mine seems to do with Janie quite a bit uh, especially when she gets temperamental she'll she'll come out of the top loop okay so there we go there's our little front face and little eye piece so we get the eye in there and of course I used, I tried to use some de textured uh, black fabric for that. You won't be able to see it on that camera, but I'm trying to show the uh, sew camera here right behind my shoulder. Uh, and then we're going to add the other piece right here, just like that. And then we'll add the ear and we'll just continue to build out this beautiful reindeer. And I thought, you know, appropriate season for the reindeer. And one, it was a project I needed to do for my girlfriend who was interested in it, so I might as well film some of it. And uh, Elizabeth Hartman has some beautiful, beautiful projects to work with. So there we go. Okay, there's our face. Now we're going to attach our ear. Fold that over. Since that ear part is done. Okay. Like we could use a little trimming on this one so let's do that first it happens depending on what kind of fabric you're using right okay so there's our front of our face our ear and or sorry a front of our face the back of our head and our ear that's what i was trying to say we could give that little little press press actually so not just a finger press okay all right so there we go so far so good and then we're going to, hold on, let me just flip this out. There's lovely instructions with the pattern. So please, you know, go, go with it and learn from it. Let it guide you, okay? All right, now here's the front part to do the nose. All right, so let's do the black and the black and white together. Make sure your hearts in the minus directional. So I'm making sure the hearts are going up and right or up and down, not up and right. Where was I going with that one? Uh, up and down. And um, we'll put those two together. So be front of the nose, I guess the muzzle, maybe? Yeah, I guess the muzzle, muzzle and the tip of the nose. Okay, so there's our black and white. Of course, you could use a solid or a different texture here. I really like the black hearts just because it's rude. Or you could make this part right here red and make it like a Rudolph instead. So this is where you would change your fabric out if you wanted to make a Rudolph instead of a Reggie. Okay, so we'll put those two there together. And then we have a... Um, there's all sorts of numbered pieces. It's the smaller. It's the one, one, one by one goes in that corner and the one and a quarter, I believe. Yeah, the one and a quarter and a one and a corner goes in the lower corner. So we're going to make sure to put those as a flip in stitch. Okay. And Mr. Magoo feels like he wants to sew because <laughs> he's near the pedal. <laughs> now this is slow and steady. Trying to line it up so you get a nice straight line to go from this tip point of your fabric down to this tip point, point of your fabric, okay? To get it nice and square, riding on the 90 degree, this is the edge of the black and then the edge of the gray, they stick nicely together, okay? It's gonna help give you more of a precise nose. It's some, some tips definitely um, are helpful by putting this project together, okay? So now we're putting the bigger one in the opposite corner, trying to line up exactly, going slow. Oh, see, see how it just popped out of that loop there? And it's just gonna jam up. So even though I tried to go slow, Janie pops this top loop out and then she just doesn't wanna sew after that for some particular reason. It's just, it's cause it's not looping it right. The tension's not right, so, oops. Oh, let me have to tighten that up, there we go. But very fun project, great project to do with somebody. This The block ends up being 24 by 24, so it is, makes an amazing pillow. Obviously, you've seen the blocks uh, via the Long Arm Wednesday. I've seen most of them, if not all of them. Uh, and I did post some to um, Instagram and, of course, our 
uh, Facebook page and stuff like that. So, all right. So now that we have those, cause that'll be our nose right there. And that'll be the bottom of our muzzle. So that looks nice. It looks like those pieces are going to cover that section. So now we can get rid of these ones right here. These little bits of fabric that we don't need. Even that big old long thread. Just come in either with a pair of scissors or snips or even just your rotary like I do right here. And then you really want to give that bit a uh, press. Um, these are, I'm sorry, possibly too small to do something with. But the other ones that I was getting from the Flying Geese, I was getting an almost a two incher out of by uh, just coming down a little bit and being able to cut off. So here, let's press this. <laughs> do do do. It's kind of neat to build out these little critters all one by one, so. All right, now we're gonna add the nose and the muzzle to the front of the face. And we're gonna sew that down, right? Yes, yes, yes. We are, we are. Okay, that looks lovely. You can see the already characters starting to come together just a little bit there, okay? Do give that a little finger press there. Now, I think what we're wanting to do here is kind of finish off the tail bit. So the tail was a chunk of fabric that you kind of, you needed to place on the angle, the angle to get it uh, like you would be binding or even if you were to extend a border or something like that. So it ended up being like this. So uh, the placement is good. So let's sew that on. And then we have a little gray strip to sew on. Lines up good here, there we go. So when we're ready to sew the head on, we're good to go. So let's, it all has to be added in little sections. Okay. Do, do. Okay. And then there's a strip piece here. Uh, I believe it is called H and H, or H, H. So we'll get those or that piece sewn right on because that is the gray filler and you don't even have to do the blocks that goes with this block so you could just make it as a solid fabric and the reindeer sits in the center you know square it up when you get to the point where you can with fabric instead of making the blocks and you know less less stress if you like or less le le it'd be less of a uh, quilt block but you know nonetheless this still doesn't take away from the reindeer okay so here's his little tail oh my gosh it looks so cute already all right there we go and we'll give that a press in a minute Okay, now to uh, finish off the reindeer antlers, or actually start the antlers, okay? So we have uh, P's, uh, Q's, and R's. Of course, the P's are longer, Q's are a little bit shorter, R's are even shorter as the antlers go in on the reindeer. So we're just pretty much gonna sew these all together, okay? First, we're gonna add the bits that we need to add to the um, Q and the R sections to make the whole section so easier together, okay? So it's just a background piece and then whatever piece you're using as your antler piece. I chose a polka dotted one, so, because I could. <laughs> All right, here's an, oops, leave that there. And just sew this down. They're time consuming. Even cutting the fabrics took a couple of hours without a doubt. Um, and uh, just to, and of course, picking up your, picking up, uh, picking out what you want as your colors. Uh, I'm sure it's going to take some time as well because you, depending on how, what colors you want to make your reindeer. Oh, see? Arg. Yes, I understand. There we go. Come back up. Oh, Janie. I think I'm going to get Nomi out for the next 12 hours, which is Saturday. I'm so excited. December 21st, 9 a.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. I will be hanging out with you. We can sing Christmas carols. We're gonna make some cookies. We're gonna finish the tranquility, or frequency, sorry, frequency quilt behind me. Um, finish it off for Pop and I. And then whatever time's left over, we're gonna put towards the snowflake. And I've got everything cut out. <laughs> I just need to triple check. And, uh, and then we're good to go. I'm looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. Hope everybody can join us. 
Hope everybody has a great day. Can come hang out with me, Pop, and Munchkin, and um, celebrate the, you know, end end of one decade and on to a new one by 2019. Hello, 2020. So All right, now we're just gonna take those strips and add them together. They're little. They're only like one and a quarter by I think eight inches. Oh no, it's five and a bit. Five and three quarters. I think it is. Yeah, that's that's not eight inches. All right, so there's one of our outside, or sorry, inside bit fabrics, because it, no, no, yeah, there we go, inside, and then we go, the next antler is right here, so it's the antler out, not background out, okay, that may help you. Great project to do with a youngin who likes a certain animal of uh, the way that Mary Hartman, uh, sorry, Elizabeth Hartman designs them. And a uh, great way to bust your scraps, make something special for them. And uh, ex extremely unique because they help pick the colors to make it, you know, whether it's Neville the Norwal, Owen the Owl, you know, all those beautiful little critters. And I love it that each has a name. My friend got some lovely, lovely compliments on her uh, naming of the critters, the embroidery that was done with the critters uh, for all her um, North Star quilts. So that made me very happy and even more pleased that she chose to embroider them. And I, could, I, I had the chance to enjoy working with them and then, you know, putting the whole quilt top together. Well, that was that was a lot of fun, too. OK, so there's half our antlers. Okay, so bigger, medium, and small. And then we got a dividing piece in the center, which would have been just a whole strip. And then we go back to the small, medium, and large of the antlers going on the, on the way out, okay? Now this is where you can add your own creativity. You can make one shorter than the other, make it look like it was broken or whatever. I mean, this is where you, as the artist, can take your own spin on the pattern and make it your own, right? Hence the red nose for Rudolph. That's, I, you know, I probably will make one eventually that does the same thing. I'll make a, um, another reindeer and then I'll make a red nose on it. And so I have a Rudolph pillow or something like that. Or maybe I'll just make it so there's eight reindeers hanging around the house <laughs> on a quilt <laughs> with Rudolph in the center and with a red nose. You, you just never know. All right, let's go here. Yeah, you gotta plan time when you're making these projects because it is a lot of fabric to cut. It's a lot of tiny fabric to cut. And then you wanna double check. And then you want to almost triple check before you start putting all your stuff together. So if, if anything, you leave bits out of fabric just in case you have to cut because something went missing or, you know, you thought you cut it, but you didn't sort of thing, because that's what happens. There's lots going on on the list. Uh, she, my friend Jo Marie, even suggested maybe taking a fabric sample of what you're using for that letter and, or fabric type one, two, three, four, five, and putting that on your page so you don't get lost of, okay, I need to cut, you know, seven of fabric C. Well, what did I choose for fabric C? I forgot about that. Especially if it's a, a scrappy sort of uh, collection. So you can maybe name, you know, C is this color and D, which should have been like, you know, but, but the same tone or something, right? So, you know, you're not limited by your, your collection. You can just kind of pretty much go crazy. Just make sure you maybe give yourself a little note. Because I changed um, one of these, what it was the background fabric here. I chose it actually to do these ones in the two and a half inch squares. So, you know, I, I did my own little change up. Have fun. You have the chance to put your own stamp on it. So have fun. Hence the polka dotted antlers. <laughs> just, just go for it. Be strange, be weird, be fun. I think the otters would be beautiful as a gift for a couple who got married or a married couple or even as an anniversary gift or something to someone because they're so cute and they're just like holding hands together. So, you know, that to me is adorable. All right, so here's our antlers. We'll give that a little press before we add 
the uh, stitch and flips that we have to do on either of the outside corners to finish off like the front of the head and the back of the antler. So let's give that a little press. Okay. Try and do a little each row at a time. Just gonna try and split it open. So the less is to the gray, or the most of the fabric is getting pushed towards the gray. Okay. I just think it would sit better that way. Now don't forget, if you're joining us for the 12 hours on the 21st, make sure you're wearing your jammies, because <laughs> it's gonna be a jammy day. <laughs> I right, got perfect pair of pajamas that my sister Elizabeth has given me. So, all right. So, uh, first it starts off with which is O, which is a three by three. So, and I went and did a diagonal across here. So that's first going to go in the corner, okay, on each one. Again, the diagonal, because that is what continues the illusion of the antler because we're just done the ones that pop up we need to actually to come down and meet the top of the head so this is what we're doing is a little tiny strip right here to give that antler look okay so that's what we're working on that's what i figured it might be a little tricky so let's uh let's do that so let's put a pin in on the one so it stays there while we're working on the others or the other side Okay, let's do that first, and then we have a bit of a gray to go in the corner, and then we have a um, X and G combination of gray and headpiece to um, to stitch next. Okay, okay. Do, do, do. so much fun. Okay, so here, slow and steady stitch on the line. Oh, hopefully, I'm not in the way. Sorry if I am. Okay. Let's do that over here. Ooh. All right. Now let's trim these little extra bits off because we have to fold and then do some more stitching. So let's actually let's do our because it's big enough. Let's move this down here. Come down just a smidge so we can cut that extra off to put in our bucket here too. Okay. That's, those will be interesting half square triangles, that's for sure. I'll be looking at it going, where did those come from? Because <laughs> it'd be like stripes in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that's the keeper for the bucket. I've already got my little pile going on here, so that'll be a neat one. And now we can take these out. And we're going to give them a little press. And then we need to sew our other bits, like this one here, this gray one. It's going to come into the corner. And it pretty much determines how big of gap you leave to make that antler piece. Because it's only so big. And you have to sew from one corner to the next. Okay. I did my pencil. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Where'd it go? It was just there. I swear it was. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise! Alright, so we're gonna go from up this corner here, point down to this point. Alright, let's give this a little quick press first so we can finish off the nice uh, pristine look of our antlers. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, they look lovely, don't they? They look lovely. Alright, so T goes in the corner. Okay, let's put that this way. We might be able to, no, let's do that this way, um, get an extra off of that as well. I think so, because it's a two and a half -er. All right. So here, right on the line, coming straight down to here, this little point right there. Start off slow. All right. And of course, that piece gets cut off, and that's, oh, I think we need to come actually. It kind of did a little bow, didn't it? It did too. All right, let's fix that. That was not a straight line. All right, let's fix that. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Fix it now so you, you know, don't continue the mess up because if you make a mess up now, it's just going to exasperate as you go along. Is that the right word? Is that the right word I'm looking for? I think so. Maybe, maybe not. 
Sometimes they're not always right. <laughs> that over and this is where even a two and a half maybe we need to actually draw a straight line maybe that might be um, a better choice to make sure it's bang on so we'll give it a second go if I mess it up the second time around then I'll put a straight line okay right down in there There we go, that's better, much better, okay? So when we trim that, if we have to trim anything, then it's on the outside. I don't think we're gonna get much more out of that. So let's move that over, just give that a press. So that is what continues the illusion of what the antler uh, looks like, okay? So now we have these two put together. This is the X and the G, I believe. Yeah, X and the G. So those two little pieces together. And then it did say split the same. Oh. I am out of thread. Oh, snappies. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Is what it is. This is life. There, around here. Good that. Stop. Okay. Well, we have a moment. <laughs> Take a sip of your beverage. <laughs> Trying to finish my tea. Do 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 do. some to work with. <laughs> We're almost there. This is not a little time-consuming block. This is a time-consuming block, just like Munchkin's block of the month, right? Takes time to cut it out, a couple hours, takes a couple hours to put it together, but you end up with a really big 24 by 24 gorgeous project to uh, share make into something different wall hanging a quilt the center to a quilt you know there's many many different things you could um progress with in any pattern not just saying um elizabeth hartman's patterns okay so there's lots of patterns out there okay so this we're just gonna do a little finger press split open very easy mcpeasy here okay just like that finger press open and we want to make sure it's going in the right corner so to the diagram it has it flipping this way so i'm placing the square in this corner up here to here and i'm going to cut or sorry so i apologize so i'm oh, sorry so from this corner up to this corner and then this is going to get flipped down so that should continue on the part of the face of the front of the face of the reggie the reindeer and then the background space to give the illusion of the antler Okay, so we're gonna do that the way they have it on here because I don't wanna make any of the mess ups now. So we'll put the X and the G in the corner. I think to be on the safety side, I'm gonna at least give myself a half decent guideline to getting down to this corner without too many boo-boos, okay. Slow start. Make sure your seams stay split as you go and do that stitch up to the other side. And again, that should give you the more of the illusion of the antlers. Okay, so there we go. There's a bit of the front of the face, and then we got our beautiful antlers. There you go. Almost looks like a menorah. Oh, the camera. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Think of other ideas with it now. <laughs> Run with it. <laughs> All right, so let's trim that up. <laughs> Give that a little press. And that is our very happy little reindeer antlers. Very nice. Very nice. And you can use some awesome fabric. You can almost, it, if you have beads and something like that, you can put the beads on so it looked like there was, you know, uh, lights through the antlers or something. It was a very festive reindeer. All right, so now we're going to put these two together, okay? Just like this, 
I believe. Let's just make sure. Oh, no, I need to. Oh, hold on. There was one. There we go. This one in the corner. Do, do, do. Right here. First, let's square this up. Let's square this up first because we don't want to waste our little gray fabric here on the wrong spot. Okay. So let's put this right here in this corner because that, again, is part of the uh, head. And we're just going to go from one spot to the next. Very tiny. Very, very tiny here. So try and line up the best you can. You may want to even just twist the side part of your sewing machine because it is so tiny to make sure to sure you got it on the, the lineup. Okay. All right. And then flip that down. Make sure it's going to cover the piece. I think we're okay. Here. And then this and this go together because it shows the other ear that's what it was i was wondering what that piece was and now i realize now it was the other ear of the of the reggie okay there we go all right now let's line these two up square this one up just a smidgey because we got the gray hanging over a bit it does say to square up as you're going along so do 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 that don't don't do it okay line these Make sure when flipped, it's going to give us what we're hoping for. And it is, it is. Okay. Put some pins in. I think I'm going to put a couple pins in just to make sure I'm keeping things uh, on the straight as much as possible. Okay. This is my first time building uh, one of Elizabeth Hartman's... Uh, besides the bat, uh, which we did at Halloween, and it was a bit different. I did it in a strip instead of a block. So um, it's, it's nice to see the very complex uh, blocks, like you're making a character, obviously, because you're making a reindeer. Okay, there we go. We're getting our head there. Now we need DD and CC. Now that would be this one here. Um... Do, 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 do. Make sure we're going right here. Uh, okay. There. And then CC is here. What are you missing? Oh, did I put that in the wrong spot? Do, do, do. I don't think so. Uh, yes, I did. Why is that not as long as it should be? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Because that actually should be moved over a smidgy. All right. Well, we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Love the progress. Do, did I have a wrong piece? Did I have the wrong piece for F? Mm, I could. I could have. Well, see, best laid plans. <laughs> Oops. I feel like I missed something here. Because it doesn't seem like it would fit. Or one piece was too big. What is F? F is two, 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 two and a half by three and a half. And I thought I had that right. Two and a half by three. All right. Two and a half by three. So apparently these antlers need to get this on the side. Not sure how that's going to get trimmed up. This gets added first. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fit that with that. I get J wrong. Okay. No, I got U, U, and P. Hmm. 
because that's not quite going to fit where we want it. Mm -hmm. I guess we're just going to have to adapt. We're just going to have to adapt. Is that going to be a big enough piece? I think so. We'll figure it out. Just need a background piece, just a filler piece. Right. It's called making it fit <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> there we go. Make sure the nose is lined up with that under gray part, and we're good to go. Perfect. Line those two up. And antlers, ear, and top of the head all come together. Okay. There we go. That looks better. For some reason, when it was shifted over here, it just didn't look right. So, um, you're, you're probably will make no issues whatsoever. And I made a mistake in here somewhere, and it's my own fault. So whatever. It, it's it's it is what it is. Okay. So now we got here. Now let's do the CC on the side. Okay. Perfect. That fits. That's, at least that was right. Everything else is going good so far. <laughs> And now these two should get together with the neck part, which is just a stripper gray and a bit more of the, obviously the feature fabric of the reindeer. Okay. And this gets on top of this. So let's give that a press first. Minus all their scrappy bits all over us. And hopefully it's the right size. Oh, this, this reindeer is going to look so cute. Looks so cutesy. Okay, so now we got the head, or so the neck. We need to attach the neck to the body and then the head to the body. Okay, is that going to do it? Here. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I know what we needed. Oh, no, this goes on first over here. And then I need. N N, uh, which is this piece right here. Okay, all right, sorry. I was like, he looks like he's decapitated. What's going on? <laughs> Poor Reggie. I'm not doing you any justice here. <laughs> I think we got it. It's very easy to get confused with patterns, so don't fret and don't feel that, you know, nobody does. We all do. We all do. Nobody is perfect, and if anybody tells you they're perfect, they're lying, so. All right, so now we need the NN, so let's put the NN on. On this side, and then we attach the head there, and that should be our Reggie done. Should be our Reggie done. Now, like I said, you can bulk it out like the way they have it here in the pattern, or you just uh, make it like, so it's got more background fabric, you square it all up, and you make a pillow, so, or you know, um, a wall hanging or something like that. I think I went a little off on the center here, I did. It wasn't quite the seam allowance it should have been. It was quite shy. There we go. And then you wonder why things don't fit right. <laughs> Cause it just wasn't made to. All right, so that's gotta go there for some reason. Okay, well, we're putting that together. So it has, at least his head lines up and we can fix it from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's a block, and the block needs to go on the side of this. Okay, we'll do a partial seam. That's why it wasn't fitting all together, because there's a block set. The O and R and S and TT and stuff, so. All right, so let's just line this up here, give a little stitch so you can see it. Make sure the seam's all right on. And then I'll show you real quickly how to do a flying goose. Okay. Line up. Make sure to line those seams up. It is important to give that neck effect. Okay. 
And there is our very handsome reindeer. Isn't that cute? I don't like them. Little cute little feet and everything. Very nice. Okay. And like I said, there's some blocks that goes here, and then we can figure out what's, what we got to do as a filler here. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's going to be beautiful. All right. So um, over here, Reggie. Hang out over here, Reggie, man. And now we're going to show you how to do a flying goose. So this is a two and a half by four and a half. And these are two and a half by two and a half. You put a line from one corner to the next, as you will see on the iron or so camera there. And then on one side, you want to make sure the points are coming into the top here not the other way but i guess it doesn't matter because you know either way you're going to make yourself a flying goose as long as they're both going in the same direction okay come in from the center outwards or outwards to the center whatever makes you comfortable and this is where i was coming in again and scooting my foot over just a smidge here is my stitch line i moved it over just a little bit take a couple st stitches mm. this again shall we that's it Janie you're gonna get put away you're not ready for Saturday <laughs> Saturday is gonna be demanding if you need a rest Janie <laughs> get the gnomes out come on gnomey okay all right from there and then back over again move that fully it works this time there we go and then you can cut that little bit off, this bit off here, and you got yourself in a little half square, a little, I mean seriously, a little half square triangle for your project, whatever else you're gonna work on. Okay, so from here, you do like a little finger press, okay, to get that to stay where you want it to go. Move your other piece in place, lining up your angles, sewing down either from the center down or from the down to the center, whatever makes you happy. There is some crossover, and that's what helps keep the, tr the goose point as you go to sew your blocks together. Uh, you don't want the tip at the very top, or you're going to end up with a flat, flat nose goose. Okay, just like that. So, when you come in with your next project and you come and do a seam allowance, you're going to come in just a little bit just above. Okay, and it's going to look amazing. So, there's a goose. Very easy. Can make them super fast and like i say you get a little extra bit so you could either put your uh, scrappy bin or make it into something else and i've been trying to collect them for a while now to make it into something else so all right well let's give little reggie a little press here and you can see how he came together he looks a fantastic super cute and we just need to add all his blocks and hopefully uh, you guys will get to see that maybe uh, either on Saturday. Okay. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it. And we will see you Saturday morning, bright and early, 9 a.m. for 12 hours of fun, fun, fun. Okay. Take care, everybody. Big hugs. From me, Reggie the Reindeer, Munchkin, and Pop. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic Christmas, holiday season, whatever you got going on. Okay. Big hugs.